Well, welcome back to MLG Championship Sunday. Come to you live from San Diego. Happy Father's Day, all you dads out there. Hey, we got a great one. Instinct versus straight ripping. We're about to get the second game underway. Let's take a look at what they're going to be playing. All right, game two is going to be the first time we're seeing Team Slayer amplified on the circuit, or at least on the broadcast. This is a map with no power weapons, no power ups, so it's all about the BR skills. Can our players use teamwork and positioning to win? We're kicking this one off with Lunchbox. Now, this map has very little setup. It is all about charging, all about finishing your kills and winning those individual battles. And I think the players to watch this time around are going to be Neighbor and Snipe Down. So Neighbor trying to go to work. You see him maneuvering around red base, trying to stay alive. Now pushing gold side of the map, helping out Elamite Warrior, but it's no big seven deal. It's 7-nothing straight ripping right out of the gate, fucking oh my. Yeah, Neighbor and Elamite shields were dropped, but both players able to escape and their teammates cleaning up kills. So straight ripping, starting strong. Neighbor, you see, kind of getting frustrated after dying just one time. He's going back into action, though. Cleaning up a kill on Snipe Down with the help of T Squared. 11 to 4. Instinct trailing by 7. And Neighbor going to town here at Red Base. Shooting players in the back. You gotta love straight ripping's teamwork so far. Oh, a little oh statement hook right there coming out of Neighbor. He killed him, smacked him, and did a little dirty teabagging. But he was hit by a grenade there. So being cocky is costing him a death. But it doesn't seem to matter because it's 15 to 7. Straight ripping in control. T squared is starting this one off strong. Let's kick it off with him. T's on a killing spree, as you mentioned. You know what? T squared told me that, that he was going to do whatever it took to win this tournament, whether it was practicing, preparing for the other team. But you know what? He even said when the, the other teams, the other top teams were knocked down the loser's bracket, that you had to not worry about what those teams did wrong, but you had to respect what the other teams had done well. So he knows you can't underestimate anybody. They knew they did that a little bit in the metal as it seemed like, but they're not about to do that in San Diego. And so far, it looks like it's paying off. Well, check out the score. It is 19 to 15. Instinct charging right back into the game. Legit and T squared sitting on top with six and five kills of feast. Roy and Lunchbox doing the same for Instinct. And now T2 is charging right back after the guy who killed him, Roy. Re-establishing dominance here. Top purple, and he was not backing down by snipe down. Ended up costing him as he was taken out from the side by Macchio. But now C2 getting the respawn here at blue base. Gets one shot, cleaning up the kill on Lunchbox. It's 25 to 19 the game. Halfway over now, four straight rip and Sundance. How are you feeling about this game? Right now, I love the action. I love the fact that straight rip is team shooting. They're pushing out aggressively. And you know what? Instinct, they were down early, but they didn't let that get into their heads. They pushed right back. Again, it's not how you start a team player game on the MLG Pro Circuit. It's how you finish it. I don't really like to pay too much attention until you get to around 30 kills. Because you know what? That's when people start to worry. They say, see the other team getting a little too far away from them. Then they start to change their play style. But so far, this one's been a great one. All right, well, we're jumping back on board with Snipe Down, the young gun for Instinct. Now, talking about this map, Amplified Team Slayer, I have to give a huge shout-out to Zach Vu and Fritzker, the guys who created this map. They used every possible glitch in Forge to put this map together. You see all the walls molded in together. It's so smooth. The grenades on the map are perfect, and it plays so incredibly fast-paced. I love it. We're on board with Snipe Down as it is 34 to 28. Straight Rippin still with the lead after taking game one. It's game two time, and Snipe Down is trying to get his team back in this match. And it, he's doing it well there, taking down Roy. And you know, you look at, take a look at that score right there. Snipe Down with 12 kills, leading the team again. The new addition not backing down. You gotta love it if you're an Instinct fan. But Straight Rippin still with that five kill lead. That was six kill lead. The later in the game it gets, the more Snipe Down and crew have got to be worried. Well, Snipe Down has 12 of his team's 32 kills. He's going to work here. Top purple looking down low. Got the call out where T squared was in a nice five shot to pick up that kill. Now, he got a call that someone might be purple too below him. He spots Legit over on red side, and the rest of Straight is spawning behind Legit, so he's trying to back down, but he is cornered by Elmite Warrior. 
amazing teamwork and Makiel actually jumped in to clean up the kill on Elamite right after only a four kill game now Instinct making it close as they are charging back in this one Roy heating things up with a double kill Makiel just trying to find an opponent there's legit you see Roy assisting him it's a one point game now Instinct charging back in the final moments of this game you gotta love this Sonny this is what we expected Amplified as you said a high energy map no nowhere to hide everyone's gonna be coming after you and right now this is pinned up to the billing two heavyweights duking it out i love it all right well it's 45 to 41 straight ripping just five kills away it's all about winning your individual battles and macchio just won that one but he was cleaned up by t squared neighbor leading all players with 13 kills at this point t squared trying to chase after a player bottom middle he's taken down 47 to 44 we're jumping on board with neighbor though who is trying to set up here in gold but he's charged by two players from instinct trying to back down t squared pushing in to clean it up and he is taken out by Macchio, top middle, the captain of Instinct being clutch here in the final moments, 48 to 46. It could go either way. Macchio trying to stay alive, getting some help, but Neighbor oh. picked up a double kill with that last grenade, winning the game. What a game. Instinct, straight ripping, one for the ages right there on Amplified. That one was close. You look at the teams right now, straight ripping with the 2-0 lead on Instinct, trying to get themselves back, maybe a little redemption from the Meadowlands. Instinct just trying to stay in it. We'll be right back. We're about to take a look at the stats here or go to a commercial. All right, well, here we are on the stats page. Neighbor going positive one, winning the game with that final grenade. He was negative one up to that point. The final grenade put him positive and put straight ripping ahead 52 47 there. On the other side, Snipe down, going positive one. He had 16 kills, only 15 deaths, but a po he had 14 assists as well. So he is continuing to play well. Snipe down, looking solid for instinct. Uh, I'll tell you what, that was an amazing matchup. We're not done yet. It's two to nothing here, straight ripping over instinct. We're going to be right back in a minute after this quick break. A desire to win. Enthusiasm that knows no bounds. That's the spirit. The spirit of young America. From coast to coast, in everything from sandlots to stadiums, you'll find red-blooded American boys full of that old grit and determination that makes winners and champions. Oh, my God! I am God! Today we'll uh, explore multiple personalities, also known as... Yeah, boy! You know I'm flavor, flavor delicious. Explore my flavor before you miss it! Tu sabes que soy flavor, me dicen flavor. You can discover something new in every sip. You know I'm flavor, flavor delicious. Explore my flavor before When you explore the 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. Team Classic, you just came out of nowhere to take second place at the very first Major League Gaming Pro Circuit event. What advice would you give Halo 3 players out there who want to become a pro? You know, my advice to them, just get a game out of the team and get up on the ladder. 